Good morning, everybody. This is Robert Mims, also known as The Gaming Guy. And I'm coming to you live from Westgate Resort Casino, the sports book. And I'm here with their director, John Murray. He's taking some time with me to answer some questions prior to the tournament. John, I want to thank you for coming. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me on. I, my first question is, this is the second year after the tournament was canceled. Is there any increase to, in the handle at this particular time? Yeah, there definitely is. You know, the hotel occupancy is way up. Uh, all, of our, all of our seats are sold out. You know, we had 50% occupancy last year for March Madness due to Nevada uh, COVID restrictions. 100% occupancy this year, no masks. Everything's back to normal, at least for now. And I think handle this year is going to go way up over 2021. Okay. My second question has to do with you and the book. The Superbook has a great reputation, yours included. You're highly respected by your peers and other sportsbook operators. What do you attribute that to? I appreciate that. I think it's our, our, our longevity. Excuse me. You know, we've got guys that I work for that have been doing this for over 30 years, and I think that uh, we've got a pretty sterling reputation, being fair with our customers and offering fair odds and fair limits. And I think because of that, we're we've been pretty well respected for a long time. Mobile betting is what percentage of your action? It's about 70%, give or take. I think uh, on this particular weekend, though, it'll be a little bit less than that. You get a lot of novices that come out for March Madness, and a lot of them still like to come and bet at the counter. I know it's a lot of fun, but I would recommend to everybody to get the mobile app, whether you're in New Jersey, Nevada, Arizona, wherever you are. You should bet on a mobile app. It's a lot easier. It's a lot more convenient for you. Since you mentioned some other states, speak to that. Are you guys planning to do anything in the future in other states with your brick and mortar venues? Oh, we definitely are. You know, we've got a we've got a brick and mortar venue at the Lodge Casino in Black Hawk, Colorado, and then obviously we have the one here in Las Vegas. We're going to open one in Arizona, sometime hopefully very soon. We've got a couple other deals in the pipeline. Some of them are going to be retail only. Some of them will have brick and mortar superbooks, like the one at the Westgate. I can't get into it too much. A lot of those deals aren't signed yet, but we will be making announcements hopefully very soon. Hopefully this year. I'll be looking forward to that. With in-game wagering and mobile bets growing exponentially, do you think the brick and mortar venues can coexist and still flourish as they are presently? I do. I think that what we see is, you know, Monday through Friday, we have a lot less foot traffic in the book than we used to back before mobile accounts. Most people on those days choose to stay at home, make their bets like that. But on an event like this, March Madness, Super Bowl, Final Four, the Masters, I think, in a few weeks, we still get a nice crowd in here in the sports book. You cannot recreate this atmosphere at your house. What teams do you have the most liability on for the tournament presently? I hope South Dakota State doesn't win the championship. I'll probably be looking for a new line of work if they win six games. Uh, a lot of money came in on Gonzaga this week. Took a bet uh, for 40000 a few days ago at plus 280. Yesterday we had a guy bet 30000 plus 275. And there was already a lot of money on the Zags because they are the favorite. Got them down to 5-2 to two right now. We never love being in a position of liability on the favorite. That's where we do find ourselves right now. It's a long way to go, but we do have a lot of money on the Zags right now. Okay. And my last question, I admire some of the unique wages you guys offer, particularly with the over and under for the teams if they were going to win and if they'll make the Sweet 16. Are there any other wages you'd like to mention to the public before we leave? Our risk team does a lot, does a great job of coming up with a lot of different props. I think one of the fun ones is over/under wins by each seed, over/under wins by the one seeds, by the two seeds, by the three seeds. That one's fun, and people really like the over/under wins by the conferences, over/under wins by the ACC, the Big East, the Mountain West is a popular one. We're in Mountain West country in Nevada. I think people, we always write a lot of money on those particular props. Well, John, that concludes my questions, and I want to thank you for your time. I appreciate your energy and your efforts. I want to shout out to my man Jay, who set all this up, and we're headed back east. So I'll be talking to you soon, and thank you again. Thank you.